Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Grand Seiko SBGA081 Spring Drive Automatic in Titanium. You can see this handsome anthracite satin dial, Grand Seiko Spring Drive timepiece on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this SBGA081 3-day power reserve spring drive automatic. Now, the watch on my wrist is a superb answer to the question, what would be an excellent watch for daily use, but also exclusive use? Let's say I want to reward myself, I want to mark a milestone in my career or award a graduate, this is an excellent choice because short of those occasions when you may need dial loom, which this watch lacks, it has the toughness, it has the versatility, precision, even the water resistance to be a never take it off kind of watch. Now you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it's an easy watch to wear. The measurements of the case are wonderfully friendly to a smaller wrist, but it has the stance and it has the width across the lugs and also across the case to look good on a bigger wrist. 39.5 millimeters is the distance from 9 to 3, not inclusive of crown guard or crown. Reasonably slim in profile as well. 12.5 millimeters thick, it's incrementally slimmer than a Rolex Submariner, but you can see with a sloped bezel rather than a dive bezel, it easily slides underneath the dress cuff. A couple of different ways to measure this watch across the wrist. You can see it does have a spring bar tool apertures in the lugs, so there is a little bit of an implicit understanding between designers and owners that this watch may be put on a strap. And if you were to put it on a strap, the lug-to-lug -lug dimension of this watch is a friendly 46.8 millimeters. Now, if you put it on the bracelet as here, the lug-to-lug -lug dimension defined by the solid end links is a little bit broader, 50.5 millimeters. Now, if you were to put it on a strap, and the watch would look superb on a strap, it has a lug spacing of 19 millimeters. So now you know. In titanium, it's nice and light on the wrist. Titanium, both feather light and hypoallergenic, is a wonderful opportunity for those who have allergies to nickel, which can be present in some contemporary steel alloys, but also for those who live in hot climates where you don't want a heavy, constraining, confined steel or heavy metal bracelet on the wrist. You'll also note that from the underside, you can see how many gaps there are to aerate the wrist, as well as channels between the links to avoid pinching skin and pulling hair. Now, in this price point, you will see that the bracelet is sized using pins and sleeves. So this is a concession to the fact that the watch is quite excessively priced. Then again, at roughly one half to 40% of the cost of something like a Rolex GMT, you get your money's worth with this watch. And a lot of what you get is the quality of the finishing. You get Grand Seiko's Zeratsu optically smooth finish, which is executed by hand by an artisan applying pressure on the case directly against the milling device. It's executed exclusively by craft knowledge and feel, and you get that on the case. You also get a dramatically higher level of point-to-point -point detailing on the bracelet than you'll get on something like a Rolex Submariner, as you have the handsome satin finish on the top, and then you have the satin finish on the flanks, but you have a gorgeous hairline bevel along the links, perfectly aligned from link to link, the kind of thing that Rolex has not done in a really long time. Nor has Rolex done these handsome bevels. As you can see, the transition from the lug hood to the case flank features a squared off and sharp crease. It's like a pressed suit, absolutely gorgeous, complex without being overwrought. This is a handsome watch in profile. More on the case in a second, but I want to show you the clasp. It is a trigger actuated deployant, so not friction fit, no cheap clamshell. This is where triggers give you both security and the sense that you're really getting your money's worth, as in this price point, I can tell you the likes of Breitling would be using a clamshell of some sort. Not here, and the clasp is not stamped. You'll also note that the case lines are fairly sophisticated. They're anything but a default design, and what I like in particular is the manner into which the lugs and the bezel are integrated. Now, in order to give the watch broad and full lugs, they have to have a large, expansive arc. But in order to keep the watch relatively thin, the bezel has to be set down lower. So you can see how the ends of the lugs are hollowed out to create a recess for the bezel to be pressed down so that the bottom of the bezel is actually below the plane of the lug hoods at their very top. Clever and also handsome. The bezel, as you can see, is conical in profile and all of high polish. The dial is really the highlight of the watch, and I'm not sure that I'm doing justice to it, but I'm going to try. It has a top-to-bottom satin grain like stainless steel, but it has an anthracite coloration. All of the indices feature an elongated lozenge profile, and they are faceted and polished 
and also hand applied. This is extremely high level detailing for a watch in this price range. I believe from this angle you may be getting the best view of the texture of the dial at satin grain, as well as the recess and the cut of the power reserve scale, which sits at 730. Uh, that is a 72 hour or three day power reserve, by the way. The power reserve scale allowing you to keep track of your watch if it's in a rotation so it doesn't run down. Now also significant is the profiling of the hands at center. The hands are beautifully faceted and polished. Grand Seiko hands, indices, and dial quality are equal to anything in the world. While I wouldn't immediately say that the bracelet or the case are equal to Rolex quality, I will say that the dial is there and perhaps even beyond the level of detailing you see on a Rolex. Now the watch does feature a number of Workaday refinements that are convenient for those of us who demand precision and ease. Pull the crown out, you do stop the seconds hand, push the crown back in, it resumes. That allows you to synchronize to a reference time. You'll note that the hand sweeps continuously. It's not a stop start, it's not a high beat, it is a continuous, smooth, unbroken sweep. That's spring drive. A spring in a mainspring barrel wound either manually or by the automatic rotor that turns a drivetrain, that spins a governing wheel, that creates an induced electromagnetic current that activates a quartz oscillator, all of this created by the spring energy, and then that governing wheel using the back EMF created by the combination of the quartz oscillator's timing and the passage of the governing wheel through a magnetic field. It will speed up or slow down according to the quartz oscillator in order to keep the watch running accurately. If it runs too quickly, the back EMF, the electromagnetic force, slows it down. If it runs too slow, the force diminishes and it speeds it up. It works in concert with the quartz oscillator to give the watch a precision of approximately 15 seconds plus or minus per month. Keep in mind a COSC Swiss chronometer is minus four plus six seconds per day and it can still be a chronometer. This exceeds that by far. In practice, it'll be off by about one half second to one second per day, generally evening out, waxing and waning, so it'll run fast, run slow, 15 seconds per month. Now again, it is a watchmaker manufactured movement, protected to 100 meters of water resistance thanks to the screwed in case back in the screw down crown. The technically accomplished caliber is lifetime serviceable. This is not an electronic watch. This is a luxury watch built by a watchmaker, regulated accordingly, and when it needs service, it can go back to Grand Seiko. They will service it and return it to you like new. A lifetime watch. Spring Drive is that kind of innovation and that kind of watchmaking. You can see and you can purchase this handsome watch, perfectly sized, feather light, and even fairly tough with its 100 meter water resistance on our website.